After visiting the Wells Gray Provincial Park, we continue our journey to the Jasper National Park. Jasper National Park was established in 1907. It is now the largest national park in Canadian Rockies, spanning 11,000 square kilometers. Jasper National Park is a part of the UNESCO's Canadian Rocky Mountain Parks World Heritage Site. You can access the world-famous Columbia Icefield, Marvelous Canyon, relaxing hot springs, lakes, gorgeous waterfalls, and splendorous mountains. We will bring you to visit the top places in the park. Driving across Jasper National Park from one end to the other end is a world-class beautiful scenic drive. It is the first thing you should do after entering the park. You can see numerous splendorous mountains, roaring rivers, and crystal clear lakes. Please watch our videos of the scenic drive across Jasper National Park in our channel. Malin Canyon it is the deepest canyon in Jasper National Park. There are six bridges across the gorge. The deepest point is at the second bridge with 50 meters above water. The canyon is carved into the Palliser Formation, which is a thick sequence of limestone and dolomitic limestone deposited in a shallow tropical sea about 365 million years ago. Waterfalls are roaring through the gorge. There is a pothole in the gorge! The gap across the gorge can be that narrow. Two hearts are hung in the air. I love you and you love me. Perfect place to make a proposal to your sweetheart. 
Jasper Sky Tram is the longest and highest guided aerial tramway in Canada. Built by PHB Company, Germany, and completed in 1964, the SkyTram has been operated for 58 years. We have to admire the perfect German engineering. The SkyTram travels at speeds of up to 6 meters per second. It takes 7 minutes to climb to the upper station at an elevation of 2,263 meters, just below the summit of Whistler's Mountain. It was late May when we traveled. The summit peak was full of snow. Hike the Summit Trail to the peak of Whistler's Mountain. You can enjoy the 360 degrees views of six mountain ranges. In a clear day, you may view the Mount Robson, the highest mountain in the Canadian Rockies. Medicine Lake is the intriguing lake of mystery. In summer, the lake is filled with icy blue, green glacial melt water. By autumn, the lake shrinks to a few numbers of pools through the largest inaccessible underground cave system in the world. Medicine Lake is accessible through Malin Road, which is a scenic road. It is a major tourist scenic road, besides the famous Icefields Parkway in the park. Please watch our videos of our scenic drive on Malin Road to Medicine Lake and Malin Lake in our channel. After Medicine Lake, we continue our trip on Malin Road to Malin Lake. Malin Lake in Jasper National Park is famed for the color of its azure water, the surrounding peaks, the three glaciers visible from the lake, and the Spirit Island. Unfortunately, the lake was frozen in late May. We could not see much. But we enjoyed the serenity of a frozen lake. Miet Hot Springs is the hottest hot springs in the Canadian Rockies. The natural hot springs water flows from the mountain at 54 degrees Celsius. As the water enters the hot springs pool, it is then cooled to a comfortable temperature of 40 degrees Celsius. After relaxing in the hot springs water in a quiet peaceful panorama surrounding, you can walk along the Sulphur Creek to the hot springs source. The Old Miet Pool was built in 1938 as part of a Depression-era worker relief program and was active until 1984. 
Now the pool is a ruin. This is the source of Niet Hot Springs near the old Niet Pool. From the temperature of the hot spring water emerging, scientists have estimated the water has risen from a depth of at least 1,500 meters underground. Hot spring water comes out from that hole and goes downhill to the new Niet Hot Spring Pool. Icefields Parkway is one of the world's most famous scenic drives. The parkway leads us to the Athabasca Falls and Columbia Icefield. Please watch our 8 videos of the scenic drive on Icefields Parkway in our channel. The 8 videos cover the whole Icefields Parkway from one end to the other end. Athabasca Falls is not known for its height and width, but its force. A huge quantity of water falls into the gorge, making Athabasca Falls a powerful waterfall. Water from the Athabasca Falls flows into the Athabasca River. Whitewater rafting often starts below the falls to travel downstream on the Athabasca River to Jasper. Columbia Icefield is another major attraction on the Icefields Parkway. It is the largest ice field in North America's Rocky Mountains. It is about 325 square kilometers in area. 100 meters to 365 meters in depth. By riding on an all-terrain ice explorer, you can go up to the Athabasca Glacier of the ice field. It takes 30-minute trip up to the glacier. We have visited the glacier 25 years ago. We are sad to see that the glacier was degraded because of climate warming. It was very windy on the glacier. The Columbia Icefield Skywalk is only five minutes away by bus from the Columbia Icefield. It is an absolute wonder on the cliffs of the Sunwapta Valley. The drop is over 200 meters high. The Columbia Icefield Skywalk offers waterfall views and incredible glacier landscapes along a one-kilometer interpretive glass walkway. Looking through the glass floor to view the Sunwapta Valley, at the bottom is a lifetime memorable experience. We aim to publish a high-quality travel video every week. Please subscribe to our channel.